welcome to Chef Shelly's Kitchen. So today um, we're going to cook something that is so simple and delicious uh, that most people probably don't think about cooking. Now, um, and I will admit most people um, who cook this actually cook the pork version of it. So we're going to be making turkey tenderloin today. What in the world is turkey tenderloin? You've probably seen them in the store. It looks like this and um, they have obviously the pork version of this that's what most people know um, it's a prime the pork is a prime cut of the pig um, and so we've got some companies like Genio um, Butterball that have kind of mimicked the same type of thing but in turkey form so you may be saying well how am I supposed to eat this Shelly well, you know, instead of cooking an entire turkey, here's a way to get great turkey. Um, and this particular one happens to be um, seasoned with applewood smoked flavor. So it's got some seasoning actually already on it. So I'm not even going to add any once we put it really on the broiler. And um, the other um, way that people use this is on kebabs. So if you're interested in grilling and you kind of want that slice of meat, um, that thick piece of meat with your bell peppers or onions or other things, here's a great tool to use for that. So it's so simple. Um, I actually have the oven already heated up and we're actually going to use a broiler for this. So I'm just going to open the pack and as I said, it's already um, seasoned. So we're putting it on our plate here. Well, actually, it can tear apart as I'm looking. And we're going to take this, and then we're going to put it right onto the broiler. So let me get it opened. Again, something you can do easily. And I'm just going to turn it over, put it on the broiler like so. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to... Um, Put this um, on the top shelf of my broiler about five, four or five inches from the broiler on top, okay? So we're going to put it in. What I did was I did spray kind of the pan um, with some Pam spray, or I sprayed the pan with Pam. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just put it in the oven, um, broil it. Um, I'm going to say about 25, 30 minutes. We'll take a check on the time and it's going to be ready to eat. Okay. So let's put it in the oven. Okay. So it's been in the broiler for 20 minutes and I want you to see how pretty it looks. Hope you can get a good look um, at that. It's just a nice golden color. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to now take this and we're going to turn it over. Okay gonna just turn it over and it's almost splitting so gotta be careful so we're gonna put this here and we're gonna and usually this comes in two packs and so that's what this is actually so we're gonna put it back in the oven now for about another 20 minutes because you can even see as it is apart that it's not done on the inside so again we're gonna put it back in another 20 minutes and then we're going to check it to make sure, um, I'm going to take it out and just kind of cut it to make sure that in fact it is cooked on the inside, okay? So let's put it back in the oven. Okay, look at this. Look at this. So awesome. So I let mine stay in the oven another 15 minutes. And then um, I ended up turning it one more time, kind of to even out the brownness. But I just want you to see how juicy it is. Um, I mean, first of all, there's juice on the, on the plate here. But just even when you slice it, I'm just telling you it's juicy. It is juicy, 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 juicy. And so here you go. I mean, you've got this great turkey treat that um, is super duper easy to make. And if you want, you can put a little turkey gravy on it if you would like. Um, or you can just eat it like this. Because this is the smoked, 
honestly, um, I tried a little piece of it already and it tastes so delicious. It doesn't need gravy or anything else on it. So there you have it. You've got your turkey tenderloin. Totally delicious. See the little juice there? And if you like, can take that off and make some gravy with it, as I mentioned. So we're going to actually um, eat this with some cauliflower and kale that I cooked in the crock pot. You've already seen the recipe for that. So bon appetit. Thank you. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you on YouTube. Bye-bye.